Hello, here's the trading guide, this time with a tutorial for programming indicators for TradingView with PineScript. As you know, you can add indicators here in TradingView to your chart or to separate panels by clicking here on Indicators. And then you search, for example, here for an exponential moving average in EMA. Here you can see it on the chart, the blue line. And for an indicator, you can open the settings and then, for example, adjust the length of the EMA. You can also edit the style, like here the color or the thickness of the lines. That's nice, but if you want to have another EMA that has a different length, then you would have to add a second indicator. That's possible, but if you have a free account, you're limited to three indicators. Now let's assume that we want to add an RSI and a Stochastics. This is not possible because of this limit. But if we can code our own indicators, then we could add, for example, three moving averages to one indicator. We are just coding it using PineScript and I will show you now how you can do that. So I remove these EMAs and open the Pine editor. Now what you see here is a kind of template for an indicator, an untitled script. And the first function you can see here is called indicator. And you can define a name for this indicator. And the default name is my script. And we're going to change it here to my three EMAs because we're going to add three EMAs in this indicator code. Three exponential moving averages that we can configure. So first of all, I'm going to save the indicator by pressing Ctrl and the S key, then I press the Save button. To use the indicator, we have to press Add to Chart, and that's a bit confusing because we see a new window is created, in which we can see the closing prices because this default indicator uses the plot function with the parameter close. That's nice to get started, but what we wanted to see is an overlay for our chart. So go ahead and close this window. To add the indicator as an overlay to the chart, we have to use the parameter overlay for the indicator and set it to true. Like that, then I add it again and yeah, then we can see it as an overlay here in the chart window. But of course we want to see a moving average, not the closing prices. So let's go ahead and code it. First I remove the plot. We will add it again later on when we have the exponential moving average. For this, there is a simple function in the namespace TA, that means technical analysis, and this is named, yeah, you guessed it, EMA. The first parameter is the source of the EMA that we set to the close of the price, and then we have a parameter for the length, and I set it to 8 for a first test. Okay, now press Ctrl S to save it, but now we don't have a plot function, so we don't see the indicator. So I add the plot function again and for the first parameter I use the EMA one that we created. The title I set to EMA1. You can also define the color that I set to red. Okay, now I save again and we see the 8 EMA in the chart. Great, this is your first indicator and what we can do now is we can configure this indicator, we can open the settings. And here is the style of the EMA one, where you can adjust the color or the width of the line. Nice, but the length of this EMA is static, it is set to 8, but we want to make it configurable as well. So instead of using a constant value, we use the input function to define the length, because then this value can be edited in the settings panel. The title are set to length EMA1, this is what you see then in the panel, and the default value are set to 8. Okay, we have a typo here for the brackets, and now it works when we save the indicator. Okay, so let's see how it looks like when we open the settings. Still we can define the style, but we have an input tab now. And here we can define the length of the EMA. So see how flexible this is. Okay, so let's just copy and paste this code so that we can add a second EMA. 
we can just replace the name to EMA2 and also adjust the title and the default value for the length are set to 20. The initial value for the color are set to blue and when we save it you see two EMAs that are created by one indicator. I also want to use a default thickness for the lines and I set it to 2 for both EMAs. Of course it can still be adjusted in the settings. Alright, looks nice, now we add a third one and then we have three EMAs. Again, it's just copy and paste and this one I set to a length of 200. Great, now let's suppose you want to know when two EMAs are crossing, like the first and the second one. Again, we can find a function in the TA namespace and this is called cross. It returns a boolean value, this means true or false, and as parameters you can add two EMAs. I use EMA1 and EMA2. Now when these are crossing, the variable isCrossing is set to true. And then we can use a so-called alert condition, so that an alert is raised when the EMAs are crossing. The condition is the variable isCrossing. This means the alert is only executed when isCrossing is set to true. And then we have to define a message and a title for the alert. You see this in the alert notification, we come to this in a moment. Great, now we have an indicator that is able to raise an alert. So how to create an alert? In trading view we have an alert panel here on the right side and here you can press the button create alert. If your indicator is active, you can select it here in the drop down. Here we can see it, my three EMAs. And the alert that we want to register is my three EMAs crossing. Now you can define if you want it to be executed only once or once per bar, per bar close or per minute and where you are notified, for example, on your app or email. Okay, now you have a local indicator, which is nice, but you can also publish your script. This means you share your indicator so that other users can use it as well. To do this, you just press publish script, then you have to understand and comply to the house rules for publishing, and then you press continue publishing. Okay, now you can define a title for your script, then add a description, select a category and tags, set the privacy settings to define if your indicator is public and you can also define if the source code is visible. For creating invite-only scripts, you need a premium account. And now you see the benefit. You have three EMAs and even with a free account, you can still add other indicators like a stochastics or an RSI because you are allowed to add three indicators with a free TradingView account. If you want to dive deeper into PineScript, you can create more professional indicators to support your strategies. Okay guys, I hope you found this interesting and useful and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, I'm going to share trading ideas for Forex. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon here on the Trading Guide.